rabbi stabbed outside of a Jewish day school in Brighton. Tonight, he's recovering in the hospital, and a suspect is under arrest. The attacker, we're told, had a knife and a gun. Good evening to you. I'm David Wade. And I'm Lisa Hughes. The violence has shaken people in the community, and as Julie McDonald tells us tonight, police are now looking into a motive. We're learning more about Rabbi Naginsky as he recovers. He's Russian-born and a father of 12 children. And what a man of faith. Police are still investigating a motive for this attack, but we're told he also suffered violence as a child for being Jewish. He's stable and he's doing well, thank God. Rabbi Shlomo Naginsky is safe and stable in his Boston hospital bed Thursday night. He's recovering from eight stab wounds after he was attacked right outside the Shalo house in Brighton. Attacker came to him and pointed gun at him and sent open new car. And he gave him a key and said, here are the key. And uh, he said, no, you opened the car. The crime scene extended across Chestnut Hill Ave, from where the two struggled by the car to the park where the rabbi ran to get away. The synagogue went into lockdown to protect children attending a summer camp. Jewish education is important to us, but I also don't want to have a target on our backs. And I'm scared. As a mom, I'm very scared. The suspect, 24-year-old Khalid Awad of Brighton, who was armed with that knife and gun, was quickly arrested. Arrested. He'll be arraigned in Brighton. While there are plans to increase security at the synagogue, this community says they're already stronger and highly motivated to counter this attack with kindness. Jewish saying says that a little bit of light push away a lot of darkness, that the good has a much more power than the evil. Call up someone you haven't spoken to for a while, just be kind to your neighbor. And for the Jewish folk out there, be proud that you're a Jew. And again, police are still looking into a motive for this attack. The faith community will hold a vigil tomorrow morning at 10 at the park where this stabbing happened. In Brighton, Julie McDonald, WBZ News.